Good morning, somebody's. It is 10.41 a.m. And I'm so excited because I'm on my way to my first ever Pilates reformer class. And this whole video is just going to be about me being a little pink Pilates princess. I consider myself an active person. Go to the gym, do some classes, but I've never ever done a reformer Pilates class. And I'm a little nervous. I'm going to Tremble and they have so many locations in Miami. They have like Coconut Grove, South Miami, Coral Gables. They have one in Miami Beach, Brickle. So these are the little grippy socks that I got from Amazon because I did not feel like paying $10 for one pair at the studio. Also completely unrelated topic, but yesterday I watched Immaculate and I loved it. Sydney Sweeney. It's funny because I feel like Sydney Sweeney has like such a like specific voice. Like you can tell it's her just by hearing. Like it's very like soft and like girly. So when she was like screaming, like there were just some parts that I could hear that it was like still her voice. You know what I mean? Like you know when somebody gets mad and their voice completely changes? Yeah. Like I feel like her voice just like does not change. So it's like kind of funny like seeing her like try and get angry. But nonetheless, I would have wanted to see a little bit more of the ending. I'm not gonna spoil anything. Guys, I literally, <laughs> I actually do feel like a Pilates princess. This is like me going into my Okay guys, so I just got out of the Pilates class and it was pretty good. I'm not a person that like typically sweats that much. Like it's really difficult for me to sweat. Like I think the only time I've like sweat like a lot that I'm like satisfied is like my first time at Soul Cycle. But Pilates is more like slow paced and it focuses more on one muscle. So it was much different than any other workout because for my workouts, I'm always like not really hit but more like just going, you know, one after the other. Soul Cycle, it has like really like loud music and they're going like really, really fast. So it was definitely different. It was calm. I'm trying to think what was difficult. What was difficult was like this position that it was like lunges, but you had to hold like the weights and I was like going back. My leg was literally shaking. Like I literally was like, please, like, please stop. Like we are okay, like calm down. This thing was like, it literally felt like a blender. Like I felt like somebody like put like a chip in my in my leg or like a battery and my leg was just like fizzing out it was so embarrassing but my instructor was so good so if you guys want to go to tremble in miami go with eliza i think that was my instructor's name she was so sweet and understanding like i told her that i was like new and she came over like every once in a while she would check i want to keep trying it i think i'm gonna do once a week but we'll see I don't think any of these are like hard. Guys, look how good. Can you stop? Guys, stop. 
Oh, but guys, I just got this fluffy, woofy sourdough bread and it looks so good. It looks so good. I'm obsessed and it looks so soft. I actually want to get into making it, but we'll see. I basically begged you, yes, to get this five. <laughs> to get this $5 bunny chocolate because it's genuinely so good. I do like dark chocolate, but I also like to give myself the treat of giving milk chocolate. I don't like milk chocolate. So we got dark chocolate. I'm so excited. Yay. Ooh, she smells good. Wait, smell. man. Oh my god. I wonder if it's a like hollow on the inside. Let's see. Break his head off. Oh, yeah. Definitely not hollow. <laughs> he said break his head off. <laughs> Oh my god, not hollow. Mm. Whoa! Hollow. Okay, it's hollow. <laughs> oh, she is a hollow little beyond. Oh, no. This is my mating call. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I Oh my god, this looks so fluffy! This is truly a Pink Pilates Princess breakfast! And I'm also going to be making a little smoothie. Oh my god, I know I've shown this like way too many times, but the texture of this bread is crazy. I just cleaned my house and it literally cleansed me internally like I feel like I have a completely new mindset I wasn't sad before but now I'm just like way happier so this is ooh, this is your sign to go and clean your house or your environment wherever you are spending the most time because it'll literally make you feel so much better it just looks so angelic. I can't, it's so clean. We're getting ready to go out and unfortunately my hair will not be a part of that process because I'm literally running on like 10 minutes. So we're just gonna do like a nice makeup and the hair is gonna have to be like this like wet look which will dry into a broom or I will slick it back and then my little, you know, flyaways will come out. So. We'll see. So I feel like this vlog has literally been the TikTok trend that's like the white swan, peaceful music, and then now basically the black swan because in the morning I was all peaceful, going to my Pilates class, cleaning my house, like getting all my stuff together, and then at night we're literally like, you know, rushing to get ready, wearing black, and going out. But it is all about balance, which is something that... I don't get to practice often because I'm definitely more in touch with like my white swan side if that even makes sense. I probably sound so stupid right now talking about white swan trends with what's going on in my life. Yeah, school just gets in the way of like other things I want to do but you know I won't regret it later. Also you guys, if you hear my reggaeton music playing in the back, it's because it literally like makes the time fly by when I have to clean my entire house. And I haven't heard that type of music in so long that it's just playing in the back because I'm low-key enjoying it. But also, I don't know if this is like a Hispanic mom thing, but they always come after me for my wet hair and they say that I might get sick. And honestly, it might be true because the last time that I wet my hair like this and I didn't blow dry it, I got COVID. So that's not the best situation. I got a cold and I'm pretty sure it like you know, transformed into like, or developed into like COVID. So now I'm a little scared, especially because it's not windy outside, but it's definitely gonna be, you know, there's also something called sereno, which also gets you sick. And it's like something with the moon or maybe it's just like common sense. Okay guys, this is the glam for tonight. We're not even gonna, we're not even gonna talk about how bad this is because I'm actually so unhappy with it, but I was in a rush and it was the most that we can do. So for the outfit, we're wearing this really nice bodysuit with like mesh. And then the back is kind of like scooped. And then wait until you guys see this whole matching situation that I created. This jacket kind of has like 
mesh little stripes which I say if it's cold but it literally won't cover anything but it's a look good morning subbies it's the next day I feel like I'm starting to get sick but since we are on this pink Pilates princess wave I made myself a little strawberry banana and mango smoothie and I just added water with the fruits and then some brown sugar and it tastes scrumptious but anyways i woke up this morning i'm not gonna lie yesterday when i finished the pilates class i was like this was like very slow pace like i definitely like the class because i feel like it'll tone me obviously if i continue to do it but i'm like i just don't feel any pain yeah i felt it this morning when i literally had to like hold on like to all of my walls as i was like leaning and squatting to sit on the toilet Oh my god, I don't feel any pain like in my abdomen. We didn't really do abs or like arms that much. But my butt, like my actual butt, like I can literally like tell you like right in the middle of my butt. And then my legs, they're literally so sore. So I'm so happy with that because that was just one class. And I really do work that muscle a lot. So for it to be sore like that, it's honestly great news because that means it's working. So it's really expensive, but honestly, I might do it at least like once a week. I'm going to see if I continue to pursue it. But if you're really looking to feel like pain, well, not pain. If you're really looking to get like toned and like feel sore and like it actually worked, maybe Pilates is for you, especially since it's like more targeted towards one muscle repeatedly and very slow paced. And they also have modifications. 